Hello and welcome to Sharon Massachusetts. I uh, have collection of different uh, pictures and images of Sharon and I'm going to just throw them in with no order and I make very brief narration. So this is part two and I hope you will enjoy it. So in the first photo you can see post office square in 1928. You can see different type of parking. <laughs> And uh, on the left side, that's Bendinelli block. It was a popular Bendinelli store. And next to it was a triangular building that was also a post office at one store uh, at one point, and also Mackey's paper store. <clears throat> the Dennett block continues next to it, so to the right side. Uh, in the middle, the little building where the bank is now, that actually used to be a Bryan store or CF Bryan store. And on the far right, you can see the Betty's store, which unfortunately burned down in 1966. You can also see the police officer in the middle uh, regulating the traffic and you can admire the beautiful cars. This photograph was taken a year before in 1927 and you basically see the opposite side of the post office square. So imagine that Bond Street is behind you, kind of towards the left, and Billings on your right behind you. Um, the Dennett block was constructed in 1905. That's the building on the right side. Uh, Dr. Dennett was a dentist and he had office on the second floor. So this is a view of North Main Street from early 1900s. So imagine that you're standing in the center of town. Depot Street is on your left and Billings on your right. You can see the fence from Unitarian Church on your left side. The house next to it is the Aaron Fisher House, 22nd North Main Street. It was built in 1805, by the way. So this is the same location. However, I believe it's probably 10, 20 years later than the previous one. So this one is marked as 1918. And in the middle, you can clearly see the trucks from the streetcars. The streetcars used to run from Cobb's Corner to the corner of East Foxborough and Garden Street. You can also see the beautiful elm trees that were on both sides of North Main Street. And if you look very closely between the two trees, you can see the water fountain. It was used mostly for horses and we now have, 100 years later, a replica of it in front of Sharon Town Hall, thanks to J.J. McGrath. So we are still at the center of Sharon, post office square the post office square, and we are looking towards Pond Street. So the street in the middle is Pond Street that goes towards Lake Massapoc. And it's probably 1900s. So on the left side, you see Brian's Variety Store. And um, on the right side, some people may remember the shed that was behind Petty and Colburn's store. Um, you can also see that all the roads are just dirt roads in 1900s. So this is a Quaker Inn. So the Quaker Inn in the square was located on the center of South Main Street and Depot Street. So the street on the left is going south, that's South Main. And it was very popular inn for visitors because it was in the center of town and close to train. Um, as you can see, the dirt, the roads are dirt roads. So both Depot Street and Main Street, and you probably recognize the fence on the right side, which is the property of Unitarian Church. So this is the same building, um, probably 20, 30 years later. And uh, now we know it as the Eastern Bank, not the property itself. The building was knocked down, they built a new one. So it's an Eastern Bank that we know now. The barn behind it was eventually purchased and it was moved to Godrich Place. That was quite common practice. You may come across some more pictures where, property, where properties were moved from one place to another. 
Okay, one more picture from the square. This is the first parish, Unitarian Church. It is an um, interesting building with tons of history. However, I would like to point out the column right in the middle, which is called the stand pipe, and it was owned by the old Sharon Hydraulic uh, Company. It was um, around 1840, uh, the company started pumping water from the area where the beaver broke is, so by the train station on the bottom of Depot Street, and they had to pump it up all the way up to the um, this structure, the standpipe. Um, eventually, the house on the right side was demolished in the 1930s, and I believe the standpipe stood up stood for another 10 years. So 1940s it was demolished. So this small building was on the little fork of Depot Street and Station Street and even though it's very small it was very important or played a very important role in the development of Sharon because the one of the real estate agents that used to um, practice from this office was W.B. Wicks. He sold houses, farms, building lots, but he also promoted Sharon as the healthiest town east of the Rockies and often named it as the healthiest town in New England. He believed that it was because of the high attitude, pure and clean air and crystal clear drinking water. So we like to believe that Mr. Wicks put Sharon on the map. The word about Sharon's um, health benefits uh, spread pretty fast and eventually more and more inns and hotels were growing in Sharon. This is one of them. Uh, it was called Lawn Crest and it was on Pleasant Street. It is um, on the postcard mark from 1911. It was very popular because it was close to the center of town as well as close, close to train station. So this place was known as Carving Hotel. It was on Massapoque Avenue, overlooking beautiful Lake Massapoque. Um, it was basically somewhere in the middle where the manor lane is. Um, actually, the information on the back of the postcard says the hotel has large array rooms with baths and showers, lounging and reception rooms, main dining room, accommodating more than 200 persons, also banquet rooms for private parties. Carvins later become Corman's Inn. By the way, I know from granddaughters of the owners that there used to be a tiled floor in the reception hall and there was huge sea in the tiles. So the new owners, when they purchased it, they were able to keep it because both of these last names starts with C. Um, the last name that we know this place by is actually Green Manor. And last but not least, this is a picture of Depot Street. So you're going down the hill. In the middle, you can see the railroad crossing. Behind it is what we used to call Barber Hill because Barber family used to live in the house, basically in the middle. On the right side, you can see the pumping station that was used for pumping water in the large cylinder structure that I showed you before. So this is the last picture in this video. Thank you for watching Sharon Local History and I am hoping to make more videos in the